piece of the puzzle revealed in the mystery surrounding the death of a prominent defense attorney in Portland. Federal defender Nancy Burgesson was found dead in her southwest Portland home in 2009. One man was arrested just last week for the murder. Now another is behind bars and connected to this case. Let's switch to Lisa Balick, live in southwest Portland, who's digging deeper into all this. Lisa, what have you learned? Yeah, take a look behind me. Over there on Southwest Hamilton is the home where Nancy Burgesson was found about 10 years ago, face down, strangled. Now, a neighbor at the time, someone who had lived in the house behind hers and was a teen then, is suspected as being involved in the murder. At first, detectives thought Nancy Burgesson died from natural causes. No sign of a disturbance or forced entry at her Southwest Portland home in November of 2009. Her front door was often unlocked, say friends, but the next day, the medical examiner discovered Burgesson was strangled. Now, rapid developments in the murder mystery. A week ago today, police arrested Christopher Williamson in Tiger. He was 19 when Burgesson was killed. Williamson had lived a couple of miles away. Now the Oregonian is reporting 27-year-old Justin Panic, who lived in the home right behind Bergeson's and is serving time for robberies in Tigard, may have talked to other inmates about his involvement in Bergeson's murder. Those inmates reportedly told investigators. Panic is now charged with burglary at Bergeson's home on the day she was found dead. The district attorney's office has sealed court records as they work on the case. Panic has several other charges from other cases that are pending, and he's got an extensive criminal record, including robbery. He was also arrested in 2016 after he crashed a stolen car into two Portland police cars, injuring an officer. Now, Panic will appear in court next month, we understand, for sentencing on the burglary that happened here on the night that Nancy Bergeson was killed. Live in Southwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin Six News.